Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins. In this video, you will learn how to experiment with TypeScript quickly online with the TypeScript's Playground. The TypeScript Playground is an online web page that lets you try code in TypeScript with IntelliSense, which is a smart autocomplete. The Playground behaves very similarly to the complete setup in VS Code with an inline error while you are typing. You can see the generated JavaScript and see all the output in the developer console. It is a good platform to share a snippet of code, but also to learn TypeScript without having to install anything. However, the Playground has a few limitations. The first one is that you are not able to have multiple files, hence won't be able to experiment with importing and exporting coding file. A second limitation is that you cannot publish your code with the intention to refer it in a real application. The last disadvantage is that it's possible to debug with the browser code written, but it is harder than having a local instance with Visual Studio code. So far, we have balanced the pros and the cons. I personally believe that both have their place. For this course, you can do almost everything without requiring to install anything. It is a very convenient way to get started with TypeScript, the programming language, without having to worry about configuring a coding software. Most lessons are under 20 lines of code and do not require many files. Also, every episode's code will have in the description a link to get the complete code in GitHub. Hence, you can work on the TypeScript Playground and still have the code for later reference. The Playground is available at httpTypescriptLang.org slash play. It is possible to adjust the version of TypeScript at the top left of the web application, as well as the TypeScript's configuration, which is the same as editing the tsconfig.json file. You can get started by clicking the example and taking the hello world. The playground will create two variables with the string hello and another string with world. Then the console will concatenate the content into the function console.log, which prints at the top bar next to the version. However, if you do click, you might not see the output expected. You need to open the browser developer tool. Now, the console of the developer tool should reveal the content of the execution. Debugging is possible by adding a line of code in your TypeScript file. The code instruction to bring the debugger is debugger. And with the developer tool open, when the code reaches the instruction, the playground will let you inspect the code and stop in. A small detail, the keyword debugger is not linked to the playground itself. It is a JavaScript statement that TypeScript's comfort with. Because we are in a browser, the debugger of the browser start its debug mode. We started to see some lines of TypeScript, and I am sure you're excited to get started to understand more about TypeScript, the programming language. Because we try to adapt our learning to your background, we will have three paths to learn TypeScript. The first one will be for people new to software development. We will have many videos that are taking an approach to explain basic principles, and then we'll let you consult the same concept in TypeScript. A second path is to dive directly into TypeScript. If you already know how to program, then it's the best path, except if you are a JavaScript programmer. In that case, you should use the third path, which converges into the second path after a couple of videos. The only difference is that we will have a couple of videos on how to gradually convert a JavaScript project to TypeScript before getting into TypeScript. So here we are again, we are at the fork where you need to make a decision. In the description, you can see a three different paths. Now you need to make a decision. Regardless of your choice, it was the right one because it was your choice. See you soon.